The Axiom of Choice, presented by Instructor Anthony. Without further ado, let us begin. Definition. A function f is a mapping or rule of assignment from set x to set y such that f maps from x to y such that distinct inputs map to distinct outputs. To the bottom left, we see an example of a function. It is clear that each distinct input maps to a distinct output. Towards the center, we see the number 2 mapped to both P and Q. Because of this, this is not a function. There are two sets that we'll consider. The first is the domain and the second is the range. The domain consists of all possible inputs of the function and the range consists of all possible outputs. Definition A set A set S is a collection of elements typically with some property in common. Here S is a finite set. It consists of the letters A, B, C, D, and E. The cardinality of a set is the number of elements belonging to the set. Here we see A is an element of S, B is an element of S, C, D, and E. The cardinality of the set S is 5 because there are 5 elements. Z is a set of all integers. The cardinality of Z is all of 9. R is the set of all real numbers, and the cardinality of R is C, the continuum. Definition The union. The union is a set operation that is applied between two or more sets. The union of A and B consists of all elements X, such that X belongs to A or B. We can extrapolate the union onto an index set, which is an arbitrary collection of sets. Below, we see a Venn diagram consisting of A and B. The union consists of everything in blue, which could be anything in A or B or in both A and B. The definition of a Cartesian product. The Cartesian product of two sets A and B is a set of all possible ordered pairs. A comma B such that A is in A and B is in B. We can extrapolate the Cartesian product into an arbitrary collection of index sets. Here we see we have a Cartesian product between the set A which consists of X, Y, Z and the set B which consists of 1, 2, and 3. The cardinality of A is 3. The cardinality of B is 3. The cardinality of the Cartesian product is 3 times 3 which is 9. The Axiom of Choice Developed by German logician and mathematician Ernst Zermolo in 1904, the Axiom of Choice is an axiom of set theory, equivalent to the statement that a Cartesian product of non-empty sets is non-empty. Informally, given any collection of non-empty sets tau, with each set containing at least one element, one can construct a new set by choosing one element from each set. Formally, for any index collection of sets tau sub i, each not empty and containing at least one element, there is an index set a sub i such that a sub i belongs to the collection for each index. The axiom of choice need not be invoked provided the collection of sets is finite or if a canonical rule or choice function is available on how to choose elements. British mathematician Matron Russell coined an analogy, for any possibly infinite collection of shoes, it is possible to obtain a new collection by selecting the left shoe. Conversely, for an infinite collection of socks, without distinguishing features, it is not clear on how to form a new collection by distinguishing left and right. Stated more concisely, for any collection tau of non-empty sets, there exists a choice function f defined on tau and maps each set a and tau to an element of that set. In mathematical terms, any collection such that it's not empty, there is some choice function that maps from the collection 
onto the union of those sites belonging to the collection. And here we see that the function maps onto itself. So any set that is mapped from the collection using the choice function must be a member of that set. Now we make a comment. Any choice function on the collection tau non-empty sets is an element of the Cartesian product of the sets in tau. 